Howdy y'all, I am back with another Rust Investing video. And this week is kind of lackluster, but the most important thing about this week is that I am doing a giveaway. There are four requirements to join this giveaway, and this giveaway will be to win this Toxic Hazard box. As the last person who joined the giveaway did not claim the box in time, or it let me know anything at all for so for winning the giveaway. And so because of that, I'm going to be giving it away again. And now that this box is available for everyone out there and to join the is available for everyone to join this giveaway because it, I was not able to give it away last time. You guys now have the ability to win this item. And so the four requirements, the four requirements or four total requirements is to like the video, subscribe to the channel, join the discord and comment down below. These are the requirements that you need to join the giveaway. And so besides this, I will now jump into my top three picks for the week. Uh, my first pick for the week is going to be the Global Freight Double Door. This is due to the theme of the item because it's themed around things that we can find in game and those tend to skyrocket in value and have very good profit margins when investing in them. And this is going to be by far the best item to invest in this week because the other items are really lackluster and won't be that profitable. As well, if we look at it compared to other items, we can see that oversaturation will not be as big of a problem as some of the other items that are out here this week. For, for example, it's only in the middle of the rest of the items this week. And... So that's my opinion on the Global Freight Double Door and why I think it will be the best skin to make an easy profit this week. And my second pick for the week is going to be the Poseidon SAR. However, the Poseidon SAR may not necessarily be the best investment and the rest of this week it's not really a good investment overall due to the high price of the Poseidon but also due to just being really lackluster altogether. And the Poseidon, uh, the LR part of the Poseidon series did fairly well or is doing fairly decent, but this is much, much higher in price. This is a very high price item skin and the other one is not even close to what this price is. It's about half of what this was. And um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the LR was maybe two dollars but if it was four dollars then it lost half of its value on the steam community market and this would not be a good investment but this will probably still lose you less money than other items that are out there and my third pick for the week is probably going to be the nice guy hammer this is because i'm not entirely sure if it glows in the dark but if it does glow in the dark it would be an extremely profitable item to have because this hammer will be extremely unique as it glows in the dark and that would be an extremely useful item to have and it give myself a very good advantage when using it within rust and overall the rest of the item skins are not very well overall such as the double armored door the hellwalker one it's not very great in my opinion i don't think it looks that good and it just looks kind of bad and the ambulance double door it's okay it's roleplay themed but I'm not necessarily see how it can be applied to that but it could be like a hospital or something I do see that for the roleplay aspect but otherwise I don't really see much value overall in the ambulance double door or anything else for that matter for example the shippy crate is a, a crappy crate as the shippy series hasn't done that well overall and the Win King wooden double door. I, it, who uses wooden double doors? Like seriously, like I don't think anyone uses wooden doors, so I don't think that's going to be at all profitable whatsoever. But that's just my most humble opinion for this week's item skins. So thank you all for watching. Make sure to like the video and subscribe for more. Thank you to all y'all. Sincerely, Drobe Blue. Don't forget to join the giveaway either. Bye bye.